everybody welcome back to the ultimate fantasy locker room it's super bowl week we got rocky back in the house mark ugly as ever and zach how you doing buddy what's going on guys doing great can we say congratulations to grandpa rocky i know it's crazy right yeah. it's, is this uh, the, this is the first grandchild is it yeah yeah it is sure. yeah Oh, yeah. I thought you were a lot older than that. I thought for sure it was like the fourth or fifth. <laughs> you know, Mark. Uh, well, he's pretty old. <laughs> I mean, no, I. It's now great, you're really an elder. You're great relatively old. Yeah, I'm relatively old. I'm getting yeah. older, that's for sure. But Mark and I are pretty close in age. I don't yeah, know. Mark's not that far. Talking, I know, right? You, it's a decade. There is a decade that separates. It's a decade's us. not that much, Mark. It's like this. And you know what? With your lifestyle, you don't get on a peloton. <laughs> that's true. I mean, you know, <laughs> you shave. You're shaving the years off. <laughs> Touche. Touche. All right, so you guys are real talkative today. <laughs> Anybody watch the Pro Bowl? Nope. Uh, nope. No. Dude, my dad texted me halfway through the Pro Bowl. He's like, I can't believe this shit. When did it turn into such a horrible game? He's like, what are they doing out there? Is this flag football? I was like, what are you even talking about? He's like, the Pro Bowl. I said, oh, shit, it's Sunday. I didn't realize it was on. Yeah, I don't think anybody watched And then I saw the a couple yeah. of highlights. Dude, it was awful. Were they like, is it two-hand touch now? Because I read something, too, that was like... I don't There's know. just an unspoken rule that it's all like it's all hands off now. I would enjoy it more if they just didn't put the equipment on, just played flag football. Yeah, at yeah. least just do that because uh, at least you know what you're getting. It'd be more fun, probably. I mean, mic mic them up. Flag, like I think they did it a few times when they were in Hawaii. They had like flag football games. Yeah, but it was That'd a probably day be more. Yeah, it'd be more entertaining than that. Probably. It it definitely seemed like they weren't. Their heart wasn't in it. Yeah. Well, no, it's the understatement of the year. I mean, what do you watch all season long for, right? You watch for awesome hits. You you look for great plays. You look for people beating people. You look for people being like dynamic athletes, right? They've turned this into such a like. These guys make so much money, Here and it's go. because of us. <laughs> Should we Here just go, we go to the? Go. Should we like, skip the come on, it's no. because of, it is. Well, no, it's before, because of us watching, wait, right? We're but, funding the NFL. Yes. And issues. here it is. This is a pressing issue. God damn it. Let me oh, get this out, issues. man. Oh, it's it's such an issue. issue. It's not. Listen, yeah. as soon as you're right. Girl. Baby, baby, baby. Hey. It's become That's such a prima donna. It's like a prima donna Mark, game. Dude, it's hey, awful. Can I, can I Mark, tell you something? Mark no, all, I'm pissed. Mark got all warm. Dude, but why do you up. always have to mention how much these guys get paid? We haven't heard pressing because issues Because we're paying their salary. Like, <laughs> this talk is a Pro Bowl. But it's fucking entertainment. You shouldn't have the Pro Bowl. You're not going to legitimately they play a have sport the, oh for God. a career unless you, somebody else is paying for the entertainment of you playing the you know, sport so we can watch Pro you. Bowl. That's you know, what I'm saying. You know it's what I want to see. That's you know, everybody. It's not the Mecca. It's the goddamn All Stars. <laughs> it is the best of oh the best. God. And you're just like, like that. We're not monetized. You're <laughs> just a, you're just like you're so. <laughs> yeah, we at least we made it like a minute and a half <laughs> in no, we, this time. So bad. <laughs> we have been bad lately. <laughs> hey, uh, listen, I, I respect the idealistic. This, you, this is what I, mean, I want to know. I, I want somebody to run stats on are there more injuries now or were there uh, more injuries when they were hitting the hell out of each other? Because right. I don't know that there's less injuries now. Well, who got but, injured? No, I'm just saying that all these safety precautions. Oh, you're talking about the game in yeah, general yeah, now? Yeah, oh, yeah. even in the NFL. Better equipment, better helmets, yeah. everything. We're being careful. Yeah. Are there less injuries now? than there were before because those guys were hitting like Well, I crazy. think there's a cause and effect because I think back then if you got nicked up that you just played. That's right. Well, I know, but I th still think guys were injured just as much, if not more. They just didn't report it. Well, that's just it. Like, it's, it's it, not just it. It is because they went out there and they did it. Like, I can think of, like, like I've mentioned before, yeah, I know, show, but Ronnie Lott's fingers were sideways. Like, the dude does that. If you were to look at Ronnie Lott's hands, I guarantee not all ten fingers are pointing in the same direction. Yeah. It looks like one of those, like, Bugs Barney cartoons, like, which way did he go? And he's like this, and you're just fucking listen, totally I, confused. I, I agree with you guys. I miss <laughs> the more physical nature of the game. Yeah. But it has to also progress the way the rest of society does, and they're just going to not. Why, though? They're essentially you mean they're why? essentially actors that play a game. It's wow. entertainment. It's becoming well, there you go. We're, we're never going to get a player on this it's, podcast. It's becoming <laughs> <wrestling>. <laughs> yeah. There's, Listen, no, it's, it's not that. Listen, the Pro Bowl, they're not, pay, they're not paid their salary from their team to play in the Pro Bowl. Well, I, I okay, get that. That's number one. Did number any two, guys, the where's, Bowl, the, where's the pride the, in being so good that you make the Pro Bowl, though? 
Did anybody I don't know. Watch? You tell me. Half now, the guys that now get, we a, get voted in by the fans. Mac, Mac Jones was on the on the Pro Bowl roster. Okay? Just because it's a lot a of people. Joe. Hey, just it's a be, Joe. Just Kirk because a lot of Cousins. people. A <laughs> Joe. Just Kirk because Cousins. a lot of people think that Alvin Kamara is pretty, they put him uh, on the goddamn Pro Bowl. We're jumping through oh, segments man. today. Hey, <laughs> let me ask you. Did you guys watch the Pro Bowl? No. Okay, I turned it on. Why? Because I miss football. I turned oh it on. I watched the first running play yeah. where it was two-hand touch. Were you yeah. confused? And I turned it off. Were you well, confused, though? I think yeah. they should do away with the Pro Bowl. When did they announce, like when did uh, they announce that it was two-hand touch? That did, I had no idea. No, it was probably the players just saying, hey, let's not, you know... Do you think they Tear decided our ACL like during the game, like before the game started? <laughs> I don't know. Like it was a shock to everybody. Yeah, I don't know. That like would be even crazier if they like, just. Hey, man, I'm the four, fourth alternate halfback. Yeah, let's bad. not. I'm not gonna break my knee. <laughs> no, I get them <laughs> wanting to. Yeah, like I get them wanting to be healthy, but yeah. then, like you said, Stupid then just enough. take off the pads. Don't even pretend. Right. Put well, they the ha- they have to. They don't get to choose to put on the pads. But I'm saying, put on the flags and play flag football. The NFL. Why are you gonna to- play football at that point? It should be like a, f- a fucking like a hide and go seek game or some shit. Like, <laughs> oh, I care, like, like make it yeah. something that I'm not expecting. Beach volleyball. Yeah. Beach volleyball. <laughs> yeah. There you go. No. Some <laughs> ping pong. A ping pong tournament. White t-shirt contest. Yeah. <laughs> wet wet t-shirt. What did I say? White. <laughs> you said white. Uh, Same white. thing. It has wow. to be a white t-shirt. Uh, Rocky wants some wet. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Sex sells. That's it. Yes, it does. Yeah. Bef- before so. we go any further, I was going to say this before. Mark got <laughs> sad about the Pro Bowl. Mark, um, got, Mark got wound up there. Yeah. You know? He did. Um, so last week, we, Phil and I had a bet whose record, who, are the Eagles or the Giants going to have a better record? We got some submissions on TikTok and Instagram. Oh, wow. I was going to say to everyone watching or listening, either if you're watching, comment. If you're listening, you know, go on our social medias and put a suggestion because so far we've got the one chip challenge. I don't know if you've heard about that. That's like the spiciest chip yeah, ever. You got to eat have, that on there. I have one. In Has house. anybody oh, ever, really? yeah. have you done that? No, somebody, the guy that lost our league last year. Did well, it. don't you know? practice, Phil, yeah. because the Giants are have a worse record. Sammy, so. Sammy did but it. But how bad know. was it? No, no, I'm, I yeah, watched it. Was, no, it was I didn't bad. do it. So. Was it bad? Oh, Sammy was struggling with it. Yeah. And we've got a few, uh, like, cash punishments and wear each other's jerseys type deal so give us more opinions because we want like a really good punishment okay so, so this is the bet between you two yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah, yeah. Uh, you've not been here the tension the, yeah. the nfc east tension between <laughs> these two has yeah. reached like a climactic yeah. point like somebody this, is definitely the, the two of you what are you doing here? <laughs> somebody is definitely gonna have to hand the other yeah. one a towel to dry will. off the <laughs> smell like of their back actually at some point. surf or do some <laughs> <laughs> i do feel like a family again we're all we're like sardines now. Yeah. I had my space over here on the corner. I don't like it. I had to change my little board because it's on Zach's I kinda, corner. I like the two so. weeks. Yeah. <laughs> you do? It was, a yeah. Breath of fresh, it was a breath of fresh well, air. Well, we have our librarian. I said you were a sheriff. You were kind no. of keeping us in line. Librarian. You said librarian. librarian. Yeah, you were librarian. sheriff, librarian. Why, and why would I be a librarian? I put books back up. I mean, what's no, no, no. I'm <laughs> saying like, you know, librarian sh- keeps the peace yeah. in the library. Sheriffs are more He's cool. you saying you're a sheriff. Cool. Yeah, you're not cool. Yeah, I'm more saying you're librarian. Well, Grandpa matches Am I a sexy librarian? Well, I don't know. I guess that <laughs> depends on the, the, the beholder. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> and I don't even know where to go with that. <laughs> so if we, have any, next, <laughs> if we have any TikTok listeners in Rocky's generation, uh, please feel free to comment whether or not he'd make a sexy librarian. Hey, real quick, can this we just guy. go before we jump to, we'll jump to coaches and then do the NBA, right? Because yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Before we get to that, I just want to touch on something. There was a dispute here last week. Me or him? No, He's looking at you. Between me and you, oh, okay. And I think I was proven right. On you what? said Snuppalupicus. Oh yeah, uh, I know. and I did. I did actually did say, say it. I said it the very first time. No, you said it, it twice, but he but only I corrected once. myself, yeah. and then I went back to Snuffleupagus because I felt like I was like, shit. Are they are they trying to tell me that but, it's Snuffleupagus? When I googled it, it was though, Snuffleupagus. It was it. Because um, I googled it for the picture, and there's there's two P's instead of two F's for when I googled it. So he was right. Oh, I think damn. so. <laughs> and I just admitted I was wrong. No, no, Shit. but you I were right, wrong, you though. Son of a bitch. No, but you were wrong. You backpedaled. You, yeah. you said that. No, I didn't, I didn't say. I just backpedaled twice. Yeah, you're, you're kidding? Yeah. Now you're just. Well, uh, <laughs> I I listened to the show, and you said it different, like. Twice, yeah, that's what it was. So I think yeah. he. Well, that was like, that was backpedaling during the show. Yeah. Then I backpedaled after the show, and then I just backpedaled well, about two thing. minutes ago. He said it right. Yeah. The it's, first, apparently, you said it right the first it's time. Pugus. But yeah, what's P-A-G. what's bad about it is that 
you denied saying yeah. it right as soon as we pressed you. He said, "No, I said with an F." So yeah, basically wrong. Yeah. Yeah, Mark, so you you, you, you were watch, right by mistake. Yeah, did you watch Sesame Street growing up? He's big. He <laughs> lived no. on Sesame no. Street, <laughs> eating your fig newtons and your pajamas with the feeds. Yes, here we know? go. Oh, by the way, going back to that fig newton shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. I have now found Oreos that I could definitely eat an entire sleeve of. Okay. Those Oreo what thins. Flavor? Was that in question? Dark yeah. chocolate, dude. You, you don't remember that? Oh, they're wait, thins. Wait, because you were the one who said oh, you couldn't thins. eat No, I can't. Oh, it's a sleeve. A, I can't if yeah, I had to. Yeah, sleeve. I would never sit down and eat it. Dude, the dark chocolate thins are I don't eat sweets. You guys missed it. I don't. For In order for it to be I'm Oreo down 31 thins, pounds, you have to have two yeah. sleeves. I'm down. I'm not eating Oreos. That's what I would say. I'm down 22. I'm Oreos. Thank yeah, you, I know. No Peloton. Weren't you down? You were down 25 two weeks ago. No, I wasn't. Jersey boys got to you? I wasn't down 25. Hey, if he's in New York, you can go to Cats. You went to Cats? <laughs> no, I didn't go to Cats. Where'd you go? <laughs> went to... Uh, Wicked? Hamilton. And I went to uh, Jersey boys. You go to the Harry Potter store? No, I didn't go to the Harry Potter store. Harry what Potter did you store? eat? He was There's a Harry Potter store. What did I eat? He had a, he had he a tent had a outside called, the M&M uh, store. I ate at a place that you're going to make fun of this, but I ate at a place called Quality Meats. <laughs> yeah. I'm I, not going to make fun of that. I knew nope. it was coming. We're mature adults here. Why would we make fun of that? Yeah. And I we are grown a, men. I went to S.A. Bagels, which is like the best bagel shop in the city. Mm. S.A. or S.A.? S.A. Like E.S.E.? Or S.A. E or S.S. Like Latino bagels? Like you were like okay. you're, like you're writing an S.A.? <laughs> no, S.A. <laughs> I, I don't know the I think it's pronounced Esau. No, it's S.A. Okay. S.A. like San like, Antonio? Like E.S.S.E. E.S.S. A U Assy bagels. All right, Assy. Assy bagels. Yeah. So that was Assy. what was that was the best thing you had? No, I no, it was the quality meat. quality, quality meats. meats. Good, yeah. quality <laughs> I mean, it was expensive. It was. Yeah, I, bet. I bet it was for expensive. for it to be quality. It's got to be pricey. Yeah. 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 What was the aftertaste like? Salty. All right. <laughs> okay. I mean, and I mean, it's not even a <laughs> NFL coaches. <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was probably the best place. Uh, that's probably one of the best places I've ever eaten at. Actually, I, oh, wow, yeah. made, you're really doubling down on. They them. actually uh, made their own steak sauce right at your right at your table, like wow. uh, like oh, wow. like guacamole table yeah, side yeah, sauce. Exactly. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's pretty good. How do you make that steak is, sauce? I you know it's kind of interesting. Yeah, let's they, get into it. Tomato. Yeah. They 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 had tomato sauce, mm, different yeah. herbs. Yeah, a little bit of Worc Worcestershire, 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 Worcestershire. 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 one of the two tomato snuffleupagus. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was great. Yeah, Fan, fantastic man, it's fantastic. Nice. Hey, nice. Good times. Good times. All right, so those coaches, huh? <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of coaches. A yeah, lot of changes. Half the NFL basically yeah. feels yeah. like it. Yeah, you know. Just about nine teams, huh? Nine teams. And how nine many teams. of these names on their board are spelled correctly? Because uh, the first one is not I think, exactly. Uh, I think Hackett, Smith. I think Allen. For, for Allen the, and Smith. For the Bears, you probably <laughs> forgot every vowel <laughs> in the last name of ever Flowers. Hackett, or whatever it's Smith, McDaniels, O'Connell, and Allen. I got, you know, I got, I got like so, seven. No, 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 wait, wait. No, so, O'Connell's wrong. No. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it is still wrong. And McDaniels, the D is definitely capitalized. Ah, uh, come on. All right, yeah, then you should know that. You're just nitpicking came, now. You just came back from quality meats. You should know that the yeah. D is capital. All right, buddy. All right, all right. Peterson is with a D. Well, you're the only yeah. Irish guy here, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I think he got, what did he get right? He got Smith and Allen right. He got Smith, Allen. And Hackett. He got Hackett. He right. got McDaniel's oh, got right. I'm going to give him McDaniel. You're yeah. going to give him that? I will oh, too. Man. It's McDonald's. We didn't say abbreviate. I mean, punctuate or whatever the hell. Yeah. We anyways. just said spell it right. <laughs> to, to be honest, I think Hackett's right. Hackett's, Hackett's right. Oh, uh, yeah. Congratulations. True. All right. So, who do, do we like Peterson? Yes. I think that's a good hire. Well, of course, you like Peterson. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, do you actually, what I, do you think? I do. Were I think, you happy when they fired him? No, I wasn't. Well, we don't know if it was a firing. It might have been a mutual, like, kumbaya, like. Out of the Eagles, pretty sure I, it was a firing. I think Peterson deserves another chance. <laughs> agreed, I, agreed. I do. I think he just like you know. I think that he did something. Yeah. You know, I you know got him the yeah. Super Bowl. He won. I think he deserves. I another can tell shot. you two reasons why I like it. One, you can you literally cannot do worse than Urban Meyer, right there. That's true. Yes, yes. that's that's, that's number one. True. Number two, like <laughs> he has a good track record as well. Like there's optimism there. Is like uh, on top of having Trevor Lawrence, which is going to be better year two. You have good offensive weapon pieces. Like it, it's not everybody's bad. Yeah. Everybody's it's young. Not and I will bad. say he should not, you know, for as much as like I've disliked the Eagles, you know, in the past, to, to have won a Super Bowl so recently and then be out of the league as a head coach is kind of unfair. I think he does deserve another chance. He inherits a Jags team that 
that's that's young, kind of like the Eagles were when he inherited them, and then led them to a Super Bowl. So maybe maybe there's something there. Mm-hmm. And he's already he's already doing better, like the just the the PR for he hasn't Peterson. kicked a player. So, so you think they yeah. should, you think they were better <laughs> off hiring him or Flores? <laughs> oh. uh, here we go. <laughs> I'm well, that's the, an interesting the point. Let's bring hey, it to just the say next yes one. or no. Uh, listen, all of these, we should just go, you know, like yes let's, or no real quick. Let's so, talk about the racist Giants. Yeah, so. let's talk about the racist Giants. So, <laughs> Dable. Speaking of the Giants, yeah, Dable. So, what do we think about the Dable hire? I, yeah, I no. think you were going to say you don't like it. Well, no, I don't I do not not like it. No, it's a good. Well, I don't like it because it's a good hire. Okay, I don't like then. anything the Giants are doing right now. Yeah, the I like. of why you like it. I like Dable's as a possible coach. I always get worried about this is his first time being a head coach. I think you got to worry about that. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah you worry about coaches. that anytime. Yep. And I always worry about an offensive or a defensive coordinator stepping into that head coaching role. Well, that's it's, mostly what yeah, everybody happens. does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, but what I'm saying is it always worries me. I always like a second time uh, or, you know. Oh, you like retreads. Time. I don't yeah. like retreads. Yeah. I do only because I feel like you learn so much the first time that you, you're a head coach. So, like, to me, Peterson, he already knows what he did wrong the first time. Yeah, you know, right. So he well, I mean, you him. can only get there by doing it the first time, That's too. That's right. That's right. So, but I hate, you know, I hate being, like. You hate being, the experience of the first being time. Being the team, yeah. That being said, I think Dables is a good hire. Yeah. I, I find it, you know, and the Bears are in the same situation. I don't like when you have, uh, you know, you have one of your one of your teams, either offense or defense, that is young and impressionable, yeah. and then you hire the opposite. So I think the Giants' offense could have probably used like a great offensive-minded coach, and then they bring in defensive-minded Dable, just like Chicago did. Well, with you have it. You yeah, have it. You have it yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dable, Dable was the offensive, offensive coordinator. coordinator. Yeah. So that's why oh, I, I thought like Dable it. was defense. Uh, no. I do have it opposite. All right. That's so the why, Bears. That's this thing is like true it. for the Bears, though, because yeah. yeah. for the Bears, Everfloss, they brought in the defensive-minded. That's, you're hey, right because you I thought that. We're making a really good point, though. Yeah, you were. Yeah, more than Bears. You had conviction. I was. No, no it just shit. proves how much I give a it's, shit about the Giants. It's a shit show with the Bears because that's the first thing I thought. I that's was like, I why like are they? There you go. Why yeah. are they bringing in a defensive coordinator when they just, I mean, traded up to yeah. get Justin Fields? Yes, they've got good pieces there on offense. What are they doing? They I'll need say, to can I say somebody. something about that? I heard actually on um, part of my take they interviewed Brandon Marshall last week. Oh, cool. And he talked. To, they asked him about uh, the Giants, and he asked him about the Bears. What he said is that somebody's. Um, Some of these teams that have been around for a long time that are family owned, they're still kind of stuck in like from decades ago doing things that they're like a mom and pop operation. I feel like that's an easy take, though. Well, I mean, he played for them, so I, I mean, yeah. But Mara and McCluskey, they have they've been around forever. Yeah, he was right? saying the same thing about them too. Yeah, well, I, think, goes, I mean, that's yeah, like he's saying they, you I, know, I always promote what, from within. I tell you what, the Bears could do though. The Bears need to find a young hot shot QB whisperer. To bring in and help, yeah, and, and like Matt Nagy, maybe <laughs> <laughs> you're an asshole. Not Matt, not Matt Nagy, but now hear me out, Urban Myers. Oh my fuck, Urban that, Myers with a nest on that yeah. thing. He brought, listen, he brought Justin, uh, Justin Fields, to Ohio State. There you go. He, he knows you know, like, how to develop. I like that. He like knows that. how to develop a quarterback. That's right. If he gives him a kick in the ass every now and again, <laughs> Justin Fields needs it. Uh, <laughs> it's not a bad call. I think this is good for the Bears. That's a terrible saying. call. I'm Meyer, Meyer in the city. Meyer in the city. <laughs> I like it. I can already picture me editing this little. <laughs> so All right, Nathaniel <laughs> Hackett. What do we? How do we? What do we think there? You know, I actually kind of like this one because it's an offensive guy that we were kind of just talking about with the Giants. And it's from the Packers. The Packers seem to be a, a successful organization. The Broncos, you know, they have a lot of pieces on the offense. I think they're, they're worse hires. Well, I think there's a great hire if you go get Aaron Rodgers. That's it. Too. Well, I just yeah, read that they're, they might re-up Teddy Bridgewater for two more years. That sounds awful. It All does right. sound awful. Yeah. I don't see how Hackett comes in and then does yeah. that. It's I think they brought either. Hackett for a reason because they want to draw. I Aaron think they over. hope they, yeah, they hope Rogers because I, I heard to not to get on a whole Rogers thing, but it's not, yeah, I don't want to, but they said that the, pa- the Packers are probably going to, well, they're saying the Packers are probably going to keep Rogers, but there's a big speculation on the other part of it. So we'll see. The Broncos are hoping the other thing, like you're saying. True. All right, so let's move to the you know the best. Oh, yeah, all right, can, can I say one thing? No, though. you can say two things. If the if the Broncos are going to re up Bridgewater, I think that's the stupidest move they that's can dumb. do. I would rather uh, it's uninspired. I are would you rather, saying that because he's a black quarterback. No, I okay. I'm are you saying, saying that it because, because it's a lack of a black coach. 
No, I'm saying that because he's an average quarterback. We know what we're going to get. I'd rather them roll the dice with a uh, lock. Yeah, you don't need a. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I mean, like dice. Yeah, I mean, there's there's upside. <laughs> Fuzzy dice. There's upside. Yeah, I, like dice. Uh, I know what I mean. Bridgewater. Yeah. He's not a bad quarterback. You don't want a bridge quarterback. Great. No pun intended yeah. with his last yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I just think that would be name. ridiculous. He has the perfect name for what his role is, right? Mm-hmm. There we go. All right, so the best coach in Bears history, Lovey Smith. <laughs> Goes to the Texans. What do we think? I think this is probably the best hire out of all the coaches on really? this board. I do I like that. Strongly don't, disagree. Don't with say it for a yeah. stupid yeah. reason. It's please. a defensive coach. He is, a, and he is a defensive mastermind. So the the Super Bowl that Lovey led them to, it was a defensive team. Defense yeah, wins championships, and defense got them. Though. They did. You don't got horses over there for him. And you know what? But you know happen? what? Texans are young on defense, though, man. Yeah. I think. I think if he molds them, if they give him like a legitimate like three year window, right? That's so, not gonna happen. So not like the Brian Flores three year window. If they give him like a legitimate three year window, he may. This guy's getting canceled. <laughs> <laughs> no, he may. I think he can do good things out there. Because let's face it, man, the Texans were kind of surprising this year with Davis Mills at the helm, right? Yeah. You thought yeah, they won four games. Four, four, I think it was five. I think we ended up saying it was five overall, right? Did I they got won? you. I thought it was still, four. I mean, that's a team that they were looking at not winning at all. You know, and, and it's a very young team everywhere. They they traded their best receiver for a shit running back. Four right? and thirteen. Four and th- all right. So they they yeah, traded twice. You were they wrong. They traded too. away D Hop for a shit running back. Right. These are all they negatives. bring in Brandon Cook. That's what I'm saying. Like they didn't have a lot to work with. Well, they still don't. They still no, don't. They've got a but bright. You future. at least bring a dude in that knows what he's doing on defense. That if they draft the right pieces, maybe you can get a bag of chips money, for Watson. It, with one. the money Here's, and with Watson looming, if you bring in the right pieces. He might put together a half decent team. Listen, out there. here's what I think. I, oh, I think they have found their quarterback too. I, I do. I think so too. Yeah. Uh, listen, listen to the stats. Davis oh, no. Mills, uh, one of the bigger surprises. Uh, this is what the, these were his stats: sixteen touchdowns, ten interceptions, sixty-six point eight percent completion rate. Mm-hmm. He had the second best campaign behind Mac Jones of any rookie quarterback. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the last, uh, he threw nine touchdowns compared to two interceptions through the final five games, including three victories. Nice. I think they've got, a, I think they've got something there. And longest neck. Yeah. <laughs> Can I piggyback off that? You think yeah. Davis Mills is like kicking himself in the ass for not waiting to be drafted this year, probably being a top ten pick, best quarterback out of his class? Yeah, maybe. Could be. Yeah. Here's what I would say about That's the Lovey Smith thing. I think the way the NFL is going, I think you got to go offensive. I mean, hiring a defensive coach – I don't think it does anything. Go get a good defensive coordinator. Get an offensive mm. coach as your head coach. You're not going to win with defense like you used to. I don't think that's true. I think I mean, if you get in a game, most of these teams that win, they have it's good comebacks. offense. Yeah. Defense gets hot going into the playoffs. I mean, you just need a guy to get pressure, good guys on the corners. But Dang, that's a like, crazy take. Defense that, doesn't win championships anymore. Do you guys think it does? I don't know. I mean, I, I have think, to look. I think we'll wait till I get to our, to our picks for the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's a good point. That. Yeah. I like the Levy Smith like hire. I I mean I think when you have a young team like this and w- one that has almost no expectations like this is kind of a good time for Levy Smith in, in general like yeah, what, maybe, what he's yeah. looking at you know I don't hate it either. Like are you excited about Eberflus or would you be much more happy with a guy that you think you could no. elevate fields? No, I, I absolutely I hated the Eberflus. I think that's my least favorite. But, but do you I, hate him more than Nagy or do you have no 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 change? No. Obviously, I'm going to welcome any change as yeah. I've stated. I'll welcome any change. But what I do like. Is that they're not just bringing an Eberflus and keeping the entire coaching staff. Like, they have legit hired, like, six or seven people fully in, in the administrative roles on this team. So they just brought in um, – oh, God, I can't remember. But they just did bring in a, a quarterback coach to help with fields. And I'm I'm hoping it works out. You know, I'm hoping Eberflus' idea of bringing in these new guys, these fresh faces, I, if well, it works out. Listen, if you – It can't be worse than the Nagy yeah, pace era. Yeah, Nagy never mm-hmm. adapted his system to Justin Fields. And nope. I don't understand that. I don't know why you bring in that type of quarterback and, and have try to Andy, force him into – And have Andy Dalton as your goddamn backup. Yeah, like, it's ridiculous. stupid. Yeah, it's ridiculous. No, I think that was management and the coach not agreeing. I don't think he wanted to draft Fields. Yeah, he told Dalton he'd be the starter before the draft. So yeah, that's we, true. Yeah, yeah. They maybe. maybe All right, we got to get through him. these last four quick because we really <laughs> yeah, belabor yeah. in this. So right. Josh McDaniels, good hire. I like it. 
Yeah. Went to the Raiders, not yeah. the Ravens, Rocky. Um, <laughs> but I did spell the Ravens right. <laughs> you did spell the Ravens yeah, right. Yeah, something. So, I mean, I guess we could talk about Josh McDaniels a little bit because that's noteworthy. It's McDaniels, not McDonald's. <laughs> that was my. Th- this one surprised me the most. <laughs> this hire. Yeah. That surprised I, you? I didn't. One, I didn't know if he was going to commit to it, and and two, like I, I didn't hear any buzz about it before it happened. That's so true. It yeah. surprised. It surprised me. Josh McDaniels, when he when he backtracked the last time he was hired as head coach and went back to New England, was it the Raiders? It was the Colts. Was it was it? the Colts. Oh, it was the Colts. Colts. Yeah, right. and then they took Frank Reich from the Eagles, and then the downfall happened. But I digress. I mean, I, on paper. It looks like he's going to do well, right? Yeah. He's been a, a pretty good uh, offensive coordinator for many years. He's had 10 years from his last, and you, you, he's a rethread, what you like. Yeah. I kind of wish they kept the interim guy. I don't know. I think that's yeah. for the culture, for them winning yeah. as many games as they did. I just I didn't think that they needed And this, making but. the playoffs. Well, and the team yeah. seemed to really want yeah. the interim coach. And the McDaniels yeah. is kind of squirmy, too, and he comes in. It's like, do you really know how long you're there for? I don't know. Yeah. It's not my favorite. Yeah. But as an offensive mind, the guy is again inheriting like uh, a, a relatively young offense Probably. led by Carr, who was a very and I know you took a lot of shit on social media for this, but if you look at Carr's stats, man, Carr is a fantastic yeah. no, quarterback. Listen. He is a guy that you definitely want to lead a mm-hmm. young offense like this, and maybe under the tutelage of McDaniel's, you know, there's the, nothing building wrong with Carr. building yeah. off of uh, a, a playoff season. This this might be this I, might be magic. Man. I think Carr is a is a top ten to seven court. Uh, like I think that's his ceiling. I think he can be a top seven quarterback. I think uh, the Raiders are going to end up drafting a decent wide receiver, and they're yeah. going to be right back. In and the they're going to bring somebody into because you can legitimately say that he had shit to work with, right? You can people are going to argue Listen. on the thread. Darren Waller. Darren Waller was out, I believe, like almost half the season for crying out loud, if including draft, going into the playoffs. If you draft a good rookie wide receiver and you bring Juju, that Ra- Raiders offense looks fantastic. And he yeah. is hitting free agency. Yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah. You'll have your you'll have your three to four yard guy yeah. there. All right, and so Juju. next uh, one up. Uh, Kevin O'Connell with the Vikings. Well, I think we skipped the other McDaniels. Oh, oh yeah, Mike I was McDaniels. Gonna, I was going to jump back to him last. Oh, okay. Yeah, my you, bad. You know what? You no, let's do yeah, O'Connell. Yeah, no, you finish. No, I didn't know where you were going, no, man. No, I thought maybe you just, uh, hey, O'Connell. The if I did, now you know, I'm trying to cut time. But, hey, now <laughs> we're doing them. So, O'Connell, I don't know much about O'Connell. I don't know about you guys. Huh? So, I mean, it's really, I don't I mean, really want to talk about it. you said you thought he was a good. <laughs> Who, Kevin? Was, yeah, Watson? Zach, you said you thought he was a decent hire. Did, did I? I yeah. think we're all just talking out of our ass. Nobody knows yeah. who Kevin I th- I think by is. Default, we'll see what happens. You're the newest guy on the panel, <laughs> and if we don't know what to talk about, we kick it to you. I threw you under the bus. <laughs> I'm looking up where he, where he coached before. Start this. that. Just keep talking, man. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea where, Kev- where Kevin O'Connell uh, coached football before he got I, hired I'll by the Vikings. Tell you. I'll tell you right now. Hold on. I got it. Well, let's see who gets to it first because you're both doing the same goddamn thing. <laughs> let's stop looking at our phones, man. He's on a computer. Stop looking at our screens, man. <laughs> Offensive coordinator for the Rams. Oh, okay. Oh, so yeah, that's a good. That, that is a good hire. I don't know if maybe our librarians. Uh, I'm just saying we don't know. I mean, it's like all right, yeah. Yep, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I got nothing on that dude. And I the defensive coordinator for the Saints got promoted. Dennis right. Allen. Yeah, that was surprising. He's yeah. another guy who has head coaching experience, right? Yeah, I think the thought process head has coaching. To be, I don't think so, right? He's not been a I have no before. idea. I was just going along with him. <laughs> I thought, I, you know, while you guys discuss yeah. this, I'll look I it up. I think it was, the defense was really good last year. Mm-hmm. They don't want too much of a shakeup. They've been so stable yeah. for all this time. That's what I thought, too. It makes sense. You got that group of players still there. Yeah. Um, they're probably just giving them a shot. I wouldn't be surprised if they hire somebody new in two years if it doesn't turn out. Oh, well. I think they're going to have yeah. to because you're looking at turning over – uh, well, the quarterback role hasn't been defined since Breeze left. Michael Thomas is definitely going to leave town. Uh, Camaro, with the trouble that he's in now, he's a huge question mark for next year. This offense that wasn't looking even very is promising yeah. is even less promising now. So it's the era of, of Ian Book. I liked Jameis uh, last year before he got hurt. I mean, they were I, playing yeah. well. Yeah, I did too. But I, I think I, that I was think a, story for the a stop gap. I think he, I think he's just a stop gap. I think they're saying, hey, look, our defense is still here. The sh- Ship with Camara now. We don't know what's going on. Take our defense. Keep our defense in line. Let's keep running with this until we're able to get a good offense in here, and then we'll see what happens. We'll reevaluate your situation 
two years from now. Yeah, I 100% agree with both of you guys. I think that's exactly what they're doing, and that's what the Saints... I feel bad for Saints fans, man. What happened to them? Drew Brees, they better be writing they're used thank to you this, letters and, and you know SOS cards to, to Drew Brees. Before that 2008 yeah. season, before the Katrina season, the Saints were used to this, right? And yeah. then they had that magical season where they, they were beat by the Bears in the playoffs, and that's the year the Chicago went on to the Super Bowl. Go Bears. Nobody asked me about that. <laughs> well, I have to. I mean, there's not too many plugs I can have for the Bears. And, yeah, he you know, was, the Saints uh, were used he to He was this. the head coach of the Oakland Raiders from 2012 to 2014. Some of mm-hmm. yeah. O'Connell was? Yeah. No, uh, Jared Allen. Oh, Allen. Yeah. So, Dennis not Allen. Jared. Jared Allen. Dennis, Dennis Allen. Allen. Dang, he coached Dennis the Raiders Allen. and also plays in the NBA. <laughs> yeah. That's Speaking of NBA. Dennis Allen. But, uh, yeah, no, I thought he had, and I and I thought he had, had some decent uh, experience, so. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about these NBA trades quick, man. Yeah, wow. So there's a lot going on. A lot with the happened NBA. today. Yeah. We don't really cover a whole lot of basketball, so this is kind of exciting. Um, there's a lot of teams that just look like they could have their own Ask the Week segment off of the trades that they've done. So for starters, um, the Kings and the Pacers probably made the biggest trade of the of the day. Yeah, Tyrese, I don't understand what the Kings are doing. Yeah, holy Tyrese Halliburton, which is going to be a, he's already a rising star. He's an amazing player. Buddy Heald, who is amazing as, as his own. The Lakers wanted him before the season started. But they are getting some bonus though. Yeah. Well, yeah, bonus is a two time All Star, right? Yeah, yeah, but when do the do the Kings? I don't get this for the Kings because Sabonis has been like he, you could plug and play Sabonis anywhere. He's a good player, but like for the Kings, like what does that even mean? You know, like you're giving up sense. you're giving up Buddy Hield, who is an amazing guard. You're giving Halliburton, which is going to be better than Hield is going to be. You do get rid of Tristan Thompson, and you do acquire uh, like a second round pick for it, and Jeremy Lamb and Justin Holiday, but which it just means nothing. Means yeah. nothing. Yeah. Oh, well, I think those were – Justin Holiday was more about salary. No, I mean the second-round pick is basically yeah. – you might as well just yeah, throw it in the trash. trash. Yeah. The one yeah. thing that I do think about it is that this probably means more for the Pacers because Miles Turner, who is wanted out of Indianapolis, he might stay there. I think he's going to stay now, he's, yeah. he's apparently I mean, the, thrilled that he can play with Halliburton. He can play center now instead of having to, like, kind of piggyback with Sabonis. Well, and he's had success at center before. Exactly. And so I think, honestly, with the two trades that the Pacers made mm-hmm. – I think that they've um, they de- definitely haven't gotten worse, and they've uh, accumulated picks. Yeah. So I think for the Pacers, it's it a good trade. Well, I think Halliburton is a, an upgrade, and Sabonis is great, but he's a much older. Yeah. You got mm-hmm. a young, a dynamic guard now. You could slot Turner in where yeah. he. Yeah. yeah. It works for the natural. Pacers. You got a first pick, and Sabonis uh, is now in no man's land. Well, do you think Poor that guy. they maybe got rid of like Hield and Halliburton because they're taking a lot off, a lot of a lot out of Foxes? Uh, I mean, yes, opportunities no, I mean, because you know. they got the kid. I think his name is. I think his name is also Donovan Mitchell. Um, he he just got drafted. I think out of Baylor or something like that. He's been doing really well. And he's been playing back up behind Fox. So yeah. maybe well, and I think maybe it's uh, that. Um, Buddy is thirty one, right? Yeah, he's a little, I mean, he's a little bit yeah. older. He's a little bit on the yeah. Old the Halliburton side. is the part that I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was that yes. blew up Twitter. Like, well, it, I think that was the part yeah. that doesn't make any sense to me. No. Um, but and I also like the fact. I like what the Cavs did getting. Um, yeah, so I can I can um, run off the details real quick for that one, so you can continue. So Karis Levert and a 2022 second round pick went to Cleveland. Um, Ricky Rubio, a lottery two, uh, first round pick for 2022, a 2022 that, second round, and a 2027 second round all went to um, Pacers. the Pacers. Well, and this is where it gets really good. They got a number one pick. It's lottery protected, so it's probably going to be a late first. It's round It's got to be pick. outside of it. Yeah. Well, top 14, right? But Yes, but the second round pick they got was the Houston pick, and Houston's one of the worst teams. So it's It'll really be could be okay. argued that it's going to be yeah. almost the first round, you know, late first round, early second round pick. So for the Pacers, they got a lot, and the Cavs got what they needed. Cavs are yeah. an elite team. That's they, what they're saying. They are uh, – the Cavs needed scoring punch, losing Colin Sexton, and then Ricky Rubio yeah. going yeah. down with injury. Who played great for them, picking so, them up. So the Cavs went from being a team that nobody would want to play, but they'd probably get to the playoffs and maybe lose in the first round yeah. Yeah. to a legitimate team now that might get a couple – you know, they they could yeah. be this year's Atlanta Hawks. The you Cavs are super Levert brings that much to the team. I love Karis Levert. Averaging almost 19 points a game. Yeah. Before you have the, the bench. Well, that's love. what I told you before the show. I think it depends. I want to see it first. Yeah. I think it depends how they're going to use them. I think yeah. if they just try to jam them in there to get uh, with that starting 
lineup, it's going to be kind of clunky. Yeah. He doesn't. He needs to have the ball in his hands, and he he gets a little trigger happy. He I think was a six man. He'd be perfect. He loaded up in Indy though when they traded for him too, and before like the whole cancer scare that he had and all that stuff. Like he was a he was a bucket for the Nets. He's no, back he's a Jared scorer. Allen. He's yeah. a great. He could score the ball. I just think yeah. he has to have a defined role. I think they're going to bring him off the. He's bench. a liability he's a defensively. They should too. right now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think he. I think they'll bring him off the bench. I think he'll be the first one in with Kevin Love, who's mm-hmm. kind of just had a resurgence. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's looked like the NBA six man of the year. I've got him know? on my fantasy team. Yeah, yeah. he's been taking off. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm happy for the Cavs. They're doing good. I like him a lot. I, I'm happy. Just of course, I'm a Cavs fan, but I'm happy just because I think like I love kind of that old school three seven footers. I I just love seeing it. You yeah, know, you don't that. see it. And Jared Allen's like a pure center. I bet you do. <laughs> yeah. Big man. Quality meat. I watched. Uh, mm-hmm. I watched uh, them play the Knicks the other night, and it was an overtime game. It was a really. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get to watch. It's it. a great game. It was. Uh, yeah. one, one uh, of the Barrett's more coming into his own. I'm happy about yeah, that. Yeah, I've no, also RJ got him on my good. fantasy team. The next uh, trade that we have is also surrounding the. Well, yes and no. So CJ McCollum, Larry Nance Jr., and Tony Snell go to New Orleans. They go to the Pelicans. Josh Hart, Thomas. Now I'm going to say his last name because I don't know it. Nikel Alexander Walker. And um, a 2022 first round pick, a second future second round pick, go to the Blazers. Yeah. So w- w- the Blazers also are also a team that is getting ex- exploited on Twitter for giving away all these players, especially McCollum, that Dame loves to play with. And then they quote unquote are going to rebuild around Dame and try and use all these assets they're trading for yeah. to get him a superstar. But like w- right now, it's not looking good for the Blazers. Hey, the clear winner in this trade is. Uh, Damien like the clear winner because now he either gets to choose who he wants to play with and yeah. they've got tons of salary to sign he has an mm-hmm. excuse to leave or he has an excuse to leave yeah that's true yeah a big I like I like the trade for for the Blazers you think so? I, well it hasn't worked with McCollum they're not good enough together yeah. so you know I like I, I try think something I can respect the Blazers that's for true. saying going all in and saying all right when at the end of the season they're going to have about 60 million dollars in cap uh, depending on how how it moves up yeah, or they, down, they got rid of twenty one million dollars. Yeah, yeah, and so they're going to be in position to land two guys, two big guys, and then you know you got to try something to try to keep Dame around. And yeah. then for the Pelicans, they needed a scorer with uh, Zion, you know, sideline. Well, and, and I think it's exactly what they needed. And to. I like like I like the idea of Nance next to Zion. To be honest with you, yeah. Like Nance is an underrated player. He does all the dirty stuff nobody wants to do. He's a role player, a yeah. good role player. Yeah. 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 Uh, and speaking of sideline, this just in: Bradley Beal will now miss the remainder of the season. Oh, wow. Ooh, yikes! And he's they want to get out. rid of Dinwiddie too. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah he's the, he hey, hasn't been great. What do you guys think about the? <clears throat> did you guys see that LeBron said that he's open to moving? <laughs> yes, to play, to with, play his with his son. I think we've known that for years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. But now it's kind of official, and and he will yeah. be the number one pick. So, so he'd be. So you think Bronny will be number one pick? Do you want LeBron James on your team? I mean, maybe not a 40 year old LeBron James. Right. I yeah. think you would. He's still playing pretty. He's still playing high good, level. Yeah. You draft him, and you're not the Kings. Then you're probably getting LeBron James. So I think he still. I think he'd go wherever his son goes. At that point, you think yeah. any team? Yeah. What else does he have to? He's done everything he's wanted to do. <laughs> or LeBron just says, "Hey, like trade Russell Westbrook and a few players to the Kings, and we'll give give me my son." Okay. Yeah. If 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 I'm uh, Damian, I'm like, tr- I want to go wherever Bron and Bron and LeBron. Yeah. yeah. Play, but you, you think know? he does such a drastic like, I'm gonna win in Oregon. I I'm I'm a grinder. This is that to then going to play with LeBron James and his son. He, you know, he's probably honestly. Like of anybody in the NBA, he's probably my favorite player. Yeah, because he's just who LeBron James. No, no, I'm no. I mean, I I like LeBron. I don't hate him. Do but, you? But, yeah. <laughs> I do. That is but a huge question. Why? Yeah. Damian is just he's like I. J- he's a hard guy not to like. He just seems like he's yeah. I like Damian's probably no, my yeah. favorite player in the doesn't NBA. Doesn't complain. He just goes out there every day and plays hard. Yeah. Doesn't talk bad about his city. Yeah, I, it just he's a hard guy not to like. He of of NBA franchises the only other hat i own other than the cavaliers is portland because of him mm. oh i thought it was because of young thug <laughs> that's you it. know a funny story <laughs> okay before i ever heard of young thug i was <laughs> young thug. i worked in his restaurant did you really? I go by the office and, and he's listening to young thug in the office yeah. no shot. He tells me, come in here listen to this 
Thank you. Wow, look at Rocky. I, 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 don't can, the, don't I can either confirm you. or deny that. <laughs> you can. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what you're talking the about. The last little thing about the NBA, and continue with the Blazers. So Eric Bledsoe, Justice Winslow, Keon Johnson, and a future second-round pick go to Oregon. They then ship off Norman Powell and Rocco, Robert Covington, to the Clippers. They really turned over that roster, huh? They turned it over. And I saw um, somebody said this, and I, I think, yeah. Somebody said um, that the Clippers are just trying to – bring back that championship team that the Raptors had, Kawhi Leonard and, you know, all those yeah, bodies. Yeah, that makes sense. But I think to give up, like, Norman Powell and, and Robert Covington are such good pieces. You know what I mean? Like, those are great pieces. And that's why I think the Clippers kind of won this a little bit. You could say that Anthony Simmons is, is a bucket and he's going to be a rising star for um, the Blazers. So that's why you can kind of get rid of McCollum. You can get, kind of get rid of all these other pieces to play with Damian Lillard potentially. But it's yeah. still kind of like... You look at the Blazers and you look at the Kings, like, what are you kind of doing here? Like, until it happens and the success comes from all these moves, like, you kind of have to just look at them with, like, a, a five-foot distance. Yeah, but I trust Portland more than I trust the Kings. Well, they have Got to be honest with you. Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course. Yeah. yeah. Kings are, mm, I don't know, so. Yeah, I just think it wasn't Kings have had a rough go of it throughout yeah. the history have they now? of Sacramento. All right, well, let's transition to our... Ass of the week. That guy's an asshole. Yeah, you know I gotta be honest in our thread. I don't like how hard Mark's petitioning for ass of the week. I just feel like you want to hear your sounder played because <laughs> it was like yeah, Sunday. And we're like, we don't have an ass of the week. He's well, like, well, there's always one more day, guy. <laughs> well, you didn't play for then, the last two weeks. Well, I mean, well he that's on him. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm just saying. That is, yeah. probably missed it. That know? is the best drop we own. I'm just gonna throw. That I don't out. believe uh, that. Uh, pressing issues goes hard. Uh, I think we all know what the best drop we own. No, the best even drop, though, even though the. The fans didn't like That's it. That's not the best drop. Resolution. No. no, Resolutions is up there. Is it still uh, on the soundboard? Oh, it's on. It's on. Tis the season is the best drop. Uh, That's yeah, a good no, one, no, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a we're wholesome, gonna, hearty We're going to have to drop a new drop. Yeah. We got to get drop happy here soon. <laughs> Rocky's drop happy. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean. I, I, I'm always up to record. You ever, you ever walk in? Are you ever the first person here? Drop like, no, when, never. When Rocky's been here by himself, and he's just sitting here playing with the. He's, oh, yeah. He's absolutely. playing yeah. with the roadcaster. He's. I guarantee he's probably got about fifteen drops saved oh, on there. I don't. I don't. God, I never want to hear this. It's again. so bad. I love this. <laughs> we have to commit to the fans. They got. <laughs> they told us to burn that. I don't care what the damn fans <laughs> say. Drop. They did. They did. But they, you know, they're jealous. People hate on what's great. I mean, they're not I showing up here every week. I am. Yeah. I want to yeah. hear the drop. All right. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. So. Well, for Ask the Week, since we kind of didn't really have an idea for it, Alvin Kamara said, "Hold my beer," and uh, oh my <laughs> gave us a little clip. <laughs> that I, was insane. I think this deserves higher than ass of the week grade, though. I mean, this is like you know, the, the crazy thing is like, man, I love his game on the field. I, he's a talented running back. Yeah. I, I I want this to not be true. Is it that crazy? Don't know. I don't know, man. He's been, you know what? He's been like so like humble and quiet. And when you watch interviews with him, he seems like such a down to earth dude. And if for he somebody probably still is because somebody was like, "You're ugly." Yeah, so he's like, "That's it." Coming at you. No, let's set it Someone up. Someone throw some details. Not me, because I haven't. Oh, yeah. That's what the story is, that a guy came up to somebody that was in his party, party. in the club, right? And said, hey, you're ugly, and ran away. And they <laughs> chased him down and it killed him. <laughs> proceeded to beat the living shit out of him, right? That's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Now, well, they, what they I will say him. is that he could still be that guy. And, and then he, you know, listen, people do things, especially guys in NFL. It's a... Aggressive sport. Guys have to have a certain mentality. We've seen it happen a million times. I think we have actual Guys get in a lot of trouble. Guys get in fights. Guys beat people up. Guys punch women. I think we you have know, actual it, audio of the night. How could they get any worse? Take a look around you, Ellen. We're at the threshold of hell. I, no, that's not true. That sure. was a <laughs> swing and a <laughs> miss. <laughs> play that. So you should have played the play crickets it. directly <laughs> after <laughs> yeah. that. Well, I, could, I was going to try, but I didn't want a remake of it's trying to quiet. find a different board. It's you know? quiet. It's too much, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's right. Like Mike Tyson, when he went in the ring, right? He was soft-spoken before. Then yeah. he went in the ring and he knocked the guy out in 80 seconds. So, yeah, you're right. He, it's possible that he's both players. But it was brutal. I mean... Or it's possible he had a bad night, made a bad decision. And or it's whatever. possible that he was under the influence of 
you know, maybe yeah. t- maybe Alcohol. too many drinks. Yeah, yeah. and everybody, yeah. all the athletes handle it differently too. You know, yeah. Ben Roethlisberger has a he has a different way of handling it when somebody tells him he's ugly. Ben, ben Roethlisberger, <laughs> Ben Roethlisberger has found Jesus. Yeah. I don't know if you heard his. Uh, sure, he has his uh, going uh, going away speech. His uh, yeah, I heard yeah. Yeah. speech. He's found. Oh, uh, he's been he's been that way for a few. Yeah, years. Yeah, it really puts yeah. the gory in gory yeah. hole. Yeah. There. yeah. <laughs> I, you know, the thing that bothers me is like, man, they they kicked this guy unconscious. Like, yeah, that's uh, that's the hardship. Yeah, like, but did they know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did they know? I Too mean, soon? when you're not moving. <laughs> I mean, did they know? When you're not moving, I think they realized that the shoes I mean, that listen, they were wearing that they were still tipped. I don't, uh, you know, if they were that? drunk enough to chase him down for calling him ugly. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to be able to recognize if he's on Carhartt. I think this is on well, Carhartt. This is on Carhartt or Timbaland for having steel tips in their boots. That's, I mean, that's we're getting sued. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. listen, we still want to get a sponsorship from those two. Mark's <laughs> opinions do not reflect this podcast or his. Can I say something though? Employer. <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest thing here is Timberland. We love is you. that Alvin Kamara what about telling Carhartt? telling the cops <laughs> that nobody wears Carhartt boots. Alan Kamara telling the cops that the reason they chased him down was because he called somebody ugly. Well, yeah. but the thing is, the video doesn't. Like, well, I mean, the video yeah. can point whatever. I'm just saying that's what he came up with. No, but the video said, but the video shows the guy didn't run away. So, like, well, either way, have a better saying, story. Well, better story overall. But I'm saying, you know. Is I mean, that the story you want to stick to? Since yeah, there's no audio, say, do you really want to say? Let's not say that he it's, called, he me, called ugly. me ugly. Well, here's what I'm worried let's, about. Let's come up with something better. How drunk are you if that's the story you remember? Like, mm. that, that, that's what, because I'm thinking they were like, yeah, you know. I mean, they could have been really Or what drunk. kind of repressed feelings do you have if you're upset when a dude runs up to you and oh, is like, man. you're ugly? Yeah. I mean, you call me ugly all the time. I don't fucking chase you down in the goddamn. <laughs> Can you imagine? I don't chase you down in the driveway every weekend. No, you yeah, might, you're a good boy. You take <laughs> yeah. it. You might want to be careful, though, Phil, because it might be coming. You might be kicking yeah, you Yeah, one day. Yeah, one day. If I ever show up with yeah. you know what? One day he's got a fig newt in his hand. The next day you're on the ground being <laughs> beaten. Yeah, there's a fig newt in his ass. <laughs> if I show up <laughs> <laughs> with, with a nose ring and they run 70% of the offense through me, look out. <laughs> <laughs> I, is there something to be said about Las Vegas, though? About just, yeah. I mean, the Raiders in general having all the scandals that they've been having. Like, Let me tell you what: what happens in Vegas does not stay in Vegas. Apparently not. Yeah, you know, it so does not. That's a lie, right there. So, yeah. So how about right. we go on to some good news? Yeah, now. some good news. Get classy, San Diego. And thanks for stopping by. I think we, sh- you know, we got to close well with this section. You know. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. who is our state classy? I absolutely, I love this. When I saw this story, this is when I, I sent it out immediately because as everybody knows, I've always, I've grown up an anti-Eagles fan. I'm not a big Eagles fan. I will say from this point forward, I will no longer root against the Eagles I because will. of one, uh, of course you will, because of one classy gentleman Go in birds. that secondary. How long does that last though? Mr. Anthony, I don't care, man. It's I will it's root extended. for Anthony Harris. It is extended. Anthony yeah. Harris, what he did was incredible. Uh, there was an 11-year-old girl in Texas who lost both her father and her grandfather in the past year. Do we know how she lost her? No, that, that, uh, I didn't read that in the story. Um, I don't know if they disclosed that information, but they had both passed in the previous year, and there was a daddy-daughter dance coming up. And for whatever reason, um, Anthony Harris, I mean, not for, for whatever reason, but usually you see offensive stars, right, as people, you know, especially younger people's favorite players. Yeah. So her favorite player was Anthony Harris. So her mother reached out to Anthony Harris, who she said instantaneously said yes. There were no questions. There were no what's in this for me. Anthony Harris said 100%, I will come to Texas and I will take your daughter to the daddy-daughter dance because of the situation and the fact that she, you know, I am her favorite player. And I just have to say, if that doesn't scream class, like NFL, man, bring out the pads and pens, take fucking notes like this is incredible this is the reason why you're a role model this is why you're in this position right you are making i know you always say i bring up the money you're making a ton of money money. we're watching we're watching you right the entertainment we're the asses in the seats you know to give back like this is just it's truly selfless and amazing and i 100 percent love this and my hat is tipped to he anthony harris he uh flew out and of course at his own expense but he actually Paid for her dress, paid for her makeup, her uh, 
you know, hair to get done, nice. rented a stretch, you know, limits. He did everything right, you know, just a yeah. good guy, yeah. you got to say, you know. For an Eagles, yeah, he probably was raised somewhere else because he nah. wasn't raised in Philly. Yeah, thanks for giving the Eagles a, a little <laughs> bit of a, you know, a boost. Well, you know what? For all it. the bad pub that they've gotten. And they were going to sneak attack those batteries at you while you're yeah, yeah, <laughs> there it goes. Sobering. It's going yeah. somewhere. Can, can Late, <laughs> later on that night, he probably did something else. Broke into, <laughs> you know, something. But, you know. Yikes. Can our, tag, can our tagline be, <laughs> we're the asses in the seats? <laughs> mm. I actually really mm. like that. Mm. <laughs> I know. We are. We are the asses in the seats. We are the right? asses in the seats. Yeah. You know, that, sh that should be our tagline. Ultimate fantasy locker room. We're the asses in the seats. <laughs> there we go. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Boom. We're the asses. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So, all right. Let's do it. Cool so, one. what are we going to talk about now? <laughs> I think we're talking about the Super Bowl. Let's go. That sounded like a real question. <laughs> <laughs> was that Rocky? I had my. I was looking at my laptop. Was, yeah. so this is Rocky's <laughs> thing. Like Rocky knows he has slides. <laughs> yeah, you have. He knows. <laughs> I think <it's> everything. <laughs> and he goes, "So, uh, guys, uh, I where? Think he's, he's so what? Tell us who uh, who's the class of the week. Where am I? <laughs> he's, <laughs> Just he's say it. He's, he's got the time. jitters, man. It's his first time. I'm just saying, when you segue, just do the segue. <sighs> Don't segue to a segue. You know what? If I had a fig Newton right now, I'd be up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> if you had a fig Newton, you'd be up his ass? No, the fig Newton would be oh, up his ass. Because okay. I don't know if you heard no. before, but he threatened him with <laughs> he the would, fig Newton up his ass. I don't so. think the fig Newton's hard enough to get in there, but <laughs> he would follow it up with yeah, quality meat, though. Hole, so he could, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so soups. Oh, what do man. we think, man? Uh, They're good I mean, with salad. Okay, so are we going to go first with just, are we going to do picks or do we want to say? Well, let me just say, like I was saying before, I think, I think the Super Bowl sucks. Okay, but that's because Thanks for sharing Giants, Giants fans. No, not, well, it would be better if they were in it, but I think, first of all, I think it should be on Saturday. Shouldn't it be on a Sunday? Why? I 100% agree because with that. Because it's basically... Because you got to work the next day. you got to work Monday morning. So now Speak if I want to have a Super Bowl party... I want to go Speak all out. Yourself. I'd say most of America, the I'll majority of people... I'll be sitting in a pina colada and my right. Airbnb at Hawaii yeah, yeah, watching yeah, the Super yeah, yeah. Bowl. Yeah, this guy. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, that's nice. He, look at how much money these two make. All right, They're stop talking it, about me. It. I am 21 He's got years pina old. Colada. They're <laughs> flying to Honolulu. I'm curious how many fig Newtons he has up his ass. You were in New York for two weeks. Yeah, but everybody knows I'm rich. Oh, 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 I mean, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we do. When I was 21, I wasn't jetting off to Honolulu. That's for it, sure. So okay, I was good saying point. The, the timing's terrible for most people, right? It, I mean, who wants Super Bowl party eight until like eleven <laughs> yeah. o'clock on a Sunday night when I got to work Monday morning? Yeah. Move it to Saturday. You have the two weeks. It's a national holiday, basically, right? Yeah. Have it on Saturday. Make it a big. Said. Make it a big thing. And then Sunday, you got, you know, people are getting well, drunk or recovery. The whole nine. You, you see what Cincinnati, Cincinnati did? Yeah, yep. it's pretty classic. Yeah, they, they gave Monday. The, yeah. yeah, the kids That's all nice. They got the right. And then on top of that, there's so much fluff around the game. <laughs> there's so much extra stuff. I just want to watch the football game. Halftime show, uh, give or take. I no, mean, but on. it's just too much but stuff. This, this halftime show, I think, is going to be. E okay. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be. Yeah, it's halftime show. Here, right. But here's it's the thing. Detroit's year. Guess what? They're not playing any of the B-sides, okay? So whatever they're playing, <laughs> I've heard 200 <laughs> times. <laughs> this is true. So, thing. you know, it's like you're getting the. No, they're playing deep cuts. <laughs> no, they're getting, you're, getting cuts. The, you're getting the PG version of these guys. <laughs> it's like Listen, the song. It, it would have to be PG. Here's something to hit the editing room just floor over in 99. If they play the actual songs. You wouldn't no, hear not. it. It'd be all, bl it'd be oh, all, it's all bleep, bleep, yeah. bleep, bleep, bleep. So I mean, if Cincinnati is giving everybody off the next day after the Super Bowl, could you imagine if Cleveland ever makes the Super Bowl? Oh, you're going to have like a fucking month off, Let me, let me tell you what. Let me tell you <laughs> it's going to be crazy. And mark my words, if Cleveland ever goes to the Super Bowl. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> if they win, the city's getting burned to the ground. Oh, my gosh. Isn't it, lose, I thought it was already. Didn't it? I just if read they that. lose, the city's getting burnt to the ground. Either threat? way, the city's getting burnt to the ground. No, no, it's, it's, it's going to be insane. Like, those people. Is there anything to yeah, burn well, in Cleveland? Cities, Cleveland's a beautiful city. The whole spaghetto you can burn down. Yeah, no, it's probably spaghetto. Smell good. spaghetto. Yeah, spaghetto's okay. burning all the I time. I can agree with kind of this take <laughs> because the because in Philadelphia, they were eating shit. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> they were, which I'm not proud of. Wait, what? Yes. You didn't know about that? You didn't know about this? 
They had to okay. Why? They first of all they had to grease the poles. <laughs> yes, I was about to talk about Philly. That. Yeah, to keep people from climbing them. Yeah, and then yes, there was fans eating there's shit. A, there's a cl- there's a clip of this dude like eating like I think it was um the Why? cops horse like shit like the cops is <laughs> they were so horse drunk shit. they won they were celebrating and they ate some he's like shit. I'm gonna eat this shit and then there everyone's was a, probably like yeah and this is who he now roots for it was a Gino's <laughs> cheese steak that's what it was oh. this is wrong and this that is not shit all right what you know cheese steak is shit what would it take for you to eat I'm a fan I like. You haven't been to the real spots. So that's probably why. I mean, Maybe why? Come on. Well, yeah, Maybe. the real spot you gotta you gotta buy it and get out fast. Yeah, well, what, isn't that always, always why? Why what do you have it, to buy it and get out what, fast? What would it take for you guys to eat <laughs> crap? A million dollars. Would you eat crap for a million dollars? I'd eat how crap, much crap? I'd eat shit for less than a million dollars. Okay, how much would it? How much my, would, I mean, more, let's be realistically. I actually like this because I might give it to you. No, wait, realistically, I mean, realistically, his mortgage, his mortgage is doing. Rocky, <laughs> the month. no, my mortgage is covered. Rocky, Relax I'll do it. Um, I'll do it for say, fifty thousand dollars. I do it for twenty. Really. I'll you do put it for twenty on the table. Uh, take a bite of shit. I'm biting the shit. Eighteen thousand for twenty bucks. <laughs> no, twenty grand. <laughs> I'll do it for eighteen thousand. How wait, much would? This is a better question. How much would you no, pay wait, me? No, wait. No, yeah, eighteen thousand. What do you got? You going lower than eighteen? <laughs> or is it? Oh, we said we could just keep. Would you vomit afterwards? It? Yeah. One piece of shit. Yeah. I don't know. I've never eaten shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost worth. Eighteen grand. How no. much my, are you putting up? My not putting up nothing. My rule for the, my rule for things like this is like how much will the hospital bill pay or cost? Yeah. So uh, can uh, I make a profit? You no, know you what I'm could, saying? I mean, you could just we're thinking realistically. Throw it up. That's I mean, true. That's true. Let me ask you a question, man. If you put the cold hard cash on the table, dignity this, does this not getting kinky. does not filter into the bill. <laughs> Would you eat it coming out of the horse? No. Mm-hmm. Oh come on, dude. Stink. You know what is the, the price has got to <laughs> <price Yeah>. go. <laughs> everything has a line. You just crossed it. Price has got to go up. Coming out of the ass, Rock. Line <laughs> crossed. crossed. Would you siphon it straight from Secretariat's <laughs> booty hole? Secretary. <laughs> oh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> the sound Ooh, effect is not good at that slurp bad. guy. That's too bad. So Okay, oh, man. Let's go. You want to talk about some prop bets. Let's get his back on. Wait, are we doing? I thought we were talking about the game, Rocky. Well, but he wanted to mention we, we, prop bets. We were going to do that towards we the We were end. talking about the game. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about the game. Well, now no, we're, we were talking about the Eagles. Now we're talking about eating horse crap. Eating shit. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So the game. Okay, since he's getting four and a half points. Yeah. Right? What do we think, just in general? I said this off air that I, this blows my mind that the, maybe it's changed from the reporting a few days ago, but like six, about sixty percent of public bets are on Bengals money line. Okay, people are money falling line. in love with the story. Yes, yeah. that's well, my take I mean, too. Okay, so and I say this all the time. Everybody gets mad at me when I say that I Brady, Brady's <clears throat> not the greatest quarterback of all time. He's the most accomplished quarterback no, of all time. People get pissed yeah. because I just I'm He's tired. His, of, I'm tired of taking Stafford. crap. I'm tired of taking crap. But what does that have it. to do with this? Because I, I want to make a point. Because you think that. Matt Stafford's going to win the next eight Super Bowls. If if you were starting an NFL team right now. Oh, I hate this. And you were picking a quarterback. Here we go. Joe Burrows would be one you would consider, right? No. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, he would not. Yeah, you would consider it. I would consider it because no, of this year, but I would There's, take him. I would take okay. five or six quarterbacks ahead of him. So who would you take? What are the five? Uh, Josh Allen, for sure. Okay. Yep. Justin Herbert. Mm, I don't agree with that. Well, yeah. but Let okay. him go. Let him go. It's his yeah. opinion, yeah. Yeah. Um, By the I, way, it's Air Bear. Don't you dare call him. No, Bear. I went back to Herbert. Yeah, it's Herbert. Um, you were gone. Know? You were gone too long, buddy. Lamar yeah. Jackson. Stay, shit, things changed. You take Lamar Jackson over Joe Burrow? I would. Lamar no. Jackson. I'll, um, I'll let him finish because I, I could. I could. I, I would like the offense that I would run with his mobility because uh, I, I wouldn't do what they do in Baltimore with him. Uh, Mahomes. Hey, guess what? You're not a coach. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I was say, and, it's a, and it's a shame. He's going to slip Justin Fields in here, too. I know he is. I'm not going to slip Fields in there. That's just four off the top of my head. I'd have to, two of those are in question. question. No, it was four. I'm Mahomes. I threw Mahomes two, in Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. okay. Two of those are in question, Mahomes. though. Highly debatable. Which ones? Lamar? Yeah. And who? Justin Herbert? Yeah. Air yeah, Bear. really? I like, oh, man, Herbert, Her- look at Herbert's stats, man. He's, no, he's Herbert and Burrow are very close for me. Yeah, they're very yeah. close. But I've, I've, seen, I've seen Burrow get it done. It, Bigger you know, games. If, if, I, if I were to tip the scale towards Burrow, it would definitely be his demeanor. He, he is yeah. very calm, cool, and collected he's under pressure. Cool. You Joe know cool. what the Chargers did, though? They went to Texas, and they lost their way out of the playoffs, is what they did. Yeah, I and mean, Burrow has won... But it, it, the, de- the defense isn't there with with the Chargers. There's a couple of pieces that they are missing Did for you that see team. That but, game? but look at I mean look at their stats. Compare their stats. Herbert's stats are, are very very good. That's I, great. I like 
We're talking about starting a franchise. We're not exactly. talking about starting Cincinnati. But let me tell you, know you I mean? why We're just talking you, about a franchise. Let me well, tell you why well, you got to consider we, Burroughs. What are we even talking about? God, why would you consider yeah, You got to consider Burroughs because in every big game so far. He showed up. Allen has not performed. Herbert. In every big game so far. Yes. Air Bear has not performed. Why are you saying Allen? Herbert, saying because he, he's saying that he hasn't showed up oh, the last you, two wait, years. Wait, 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 wait. Big game he's he's, the, he's debunking my guys. No, uh, no, no, not all. I mean, guys. he played a perfect game. You're year. talking Burrow he's over Allen? Allen? Is that he what you're lost, saying? But yeah. he lost. But he didn't. I mean, he played a perfect game. Okay, right? but what I'm saying he is. He scored three touchdowns Burrows, in like the last Burrows six has, minutes of the game. He's shown up. I mean, he's got the. No, I take Allen. Uh, I'm pretty sure Allen showed up too, because that dude he marched down the field yeah. three I mean, separate times in the when Super the game Bowl was online. Somebody's not. All right. Well, now you're just choosing to be ignorant about it. <laughs> <laughs> you say, well, okay. Guilty. I mean, yeah. listen, we could talk about what happened, and we could talk about the results. What happened yeah. was Josh Allen won the game, probably twice, and his defense <laughs> let them run down the field and score. It's fair. I mean, let them score in 13 seconds, like. Okay, you know. but my point is, Burroughs is in the conversation. You can definitely throw him in the conversation. Yeah. I'm just saying, I wouldn't start. The, I don't know that franchise. Stafford is in the conversation. No. To start a franchise? Well, no, no he's too old. You're it's saying if he was young? I mean. Yeah. 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 All right. So and for the point? record, I'm not a huge oh, Justin Fields okay. fan. Yeah. Just for the record, I'm not a huge Justin Fields fan. I'm still not sold on him. Clip that. The Ohio State does not have a great track record with quarterbacks in the NFL. I'm just going to throw right, that we're out getting there. Long. We're meandering here. here what, so what, I think the Bengals have a shot of winning this game. They I think the shot. story's great. I think Burrow is the reason they have a shot. I think Jamar Chase is a stud, but he's going to have issues with Ramsey. Ramsey's going to have issues with him. I don't know if that winds up being a wash. I think the Rams are more talented. Cincinnati feels like they they are more of – they have more grit to them. They have more resilience. But at the end of the day, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I just think there's a lot of guns, a lot of firepower on that other side. Yeah. And I want to pull for the Bengals, but I think – yeah, it's going to be tough. Ohio against the world. I'm going to. I want the Bengals to win. The reality is, though, every time I look at the defensive line from the Rams, and I see what the Chiefs did yeah. to the Bengals in that first half, and yeah. and not just the Chiefs because the game before, yeah, but they the Bengals, figured it out. They though. did That's figure the it out. They they did figure it out, yeah. but the teams were not as good as the Rams. But here's the thing, too. That's just it. So they're not really expecting that kind of pressure, I don't think, from Kansas City's front four, whereas they're expecting it from the Rams. I mean, you have, you have Donald, you have Von Miller, and then you have Leonard Floyd as a linebacker. You know, obviously, he's going to be hitting every gap. They're prepared for this. They're prepared for this defensive scheme, I think. What I like is I love their weapons on offense. Joe Mixon is very, very versatile. I think their wide receivers, I think Chase and Higgins are one of the best wide receiver duos in the NFL. Yeah. I think you can put them legitimately top five best yeah. duos in the NFL I when, agree they're, when they're both healthy. And, you know, we just talked about Joe Burrow being calm, cool, and collected. I think they're coming in with the attitude of a cocky underdog, whereas the Rams feel like this is ours to lose. That's a dangerous situation to be in. Because there's a seed of doubt in the back of your mind that says, this is ours to lose. Let's not blow this. And Cincinnati is like, I can't wait for you to make a mistake because we're going to capitalize and we're going to blow the doors off here. I like Cincinnati here. I'd be one of the idiots betting Cincinnati money line. That, that, it's funny that you said that phrase because that's what I was going to say about the Rams too. They, they, they have everything to lose from not winning this game. They put so many chips. The Rams are just like known and prone to like giving they're going all in to win now and this year they could actually do it and that's why i'm actually taking the rams in this game to win i actually I, i'm debating the spread right now in my brain but i'm take i think the rams win this game just because of that and the story for the bengals is nice i'm rooting kind of for the bengals like you're saying i'm kind of like agreeing with both you and yeah. and phil at the same time but i just think like at the end of the day like the rams have a little bit more experience at this game. Like Sean McVay, like can't cannot lose this game because then he's got to rap like Shanahan does, kind of. So that that's my opinion on that game. Yeah, I I like the Bengals. I just think that next year, this next draft, the Bengals are going to draft a couple linemen. They're yeah. going to fix the issue. 
there's a serious problem with well, their if you remember, line. they 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 went chase instead of going That's like right. three like yeah. three top linemen. They went chase because they were like, let's get our guy because here's our dynamic playmaker. We don't see we don't foresee a, an offensive dyna, a dynamic and it was probably the right call. coming out like this. Yeah, but we can go out and we can get offensive stud yeah. linemen coming out over the next couple of years. Well, and there's one guy coming out from Iowa that's going to be at you know the centerpiece center for the next 15 years. Yeah, yeah, but. I Mixon looked terrible against the Chiefs. Terrible in the first yeah. half, and he didn't look that much better in the second half. Well, I think he had they like adjusted. He had like but. forty-eight yards on his first like six carries. Then after that, I mean, I even made the comment. I was like, Mixon is playing like he has money on the Chiefs in this game yeah. because everything he was just running. The first defender was taking him down ninety percent of the time that I watched the game. I missed the first like forty-eight yards, but after that, it, he he did. He looked terrible, but he's he's dynamic. So I think maybe they game plan hopefully. For Mixon to, to surprise My this final thought is I think the Rams have a margin for error in this game. Um, I think Cincinnati, Burrow is going to have to be special. I mean, like yeah. the way he kind of carried them late in that Kansas City game. Yeah. You think he'll up those first game? Out I of think the he has to have a great game. Or Stafford has to throw three interceptions. I think they can still win with Stafford throwing interceptions. That's what I think. They have that been. defense is good enough. They, well, have, they been. have been, yeah. You're but right. he's been, but he's been clean lately. But even if, like, I think he could throw two interceptions, they win this game. I don't think Cincinnati can do that. Yeah, I agree. I think Burrow has to be, Burrow has to win the Super Bowl. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. I think the defense. I do is think not it's going to be a good game. Like, I don't think it's going to be a blowout. No, I, yeah, and that, I'm excited. You know, for this we game. can roll that right into our picks here, right? Because I, I'm kind of with you. I think the Rams are going to win. I just don't know how by, by how much. But with I the, think it'll be a you know touchdown. I do the I four think. and a half. Yeah, I'm not counting on them beating by a touchdown. So I think I'll probably take the Bengals with the four and a half. Yeah, and I'll, I'll piggyback right off that. I I think so too. I like like I said. I like not only do I like the story. I I just think the makeup is there for Cincinnati to truly win this game if they are as eager as I think they are. So I like Cincinnati with the points, and I want to flat out say like this is having no like invested interest in the Super Bowl for the last friggin forever you know this is probably the super bowl that has su- not only surprised me the most but i'm like that's I'm, great i'm excited for this i, I am too i am like too. Bengals ran i mean there's there's no patriots so there's no of, chiefs uh, there's no there's no brady you yeah. know there's none of that shit it's it's the Bengals and the rams it's and like, it's like a madden matchup yeah. yeah this is pretty cool man i i i'm looking forward to the super bowl and i'll make one other note real quick with the rams defense the those guys you talk about up front getting pressure really good they take ramsey and stick them to your other guy but they play a lot of zone and that's what Burrow has struggled with this whole year. When yeah. he's seen zone, he's had trouble. Yep, and it, it, it's not just their defensive line. They've got great coverage in their back, in their secondary. And I'll go back to the you know who played the Bengals the best the entire year? The Jets. If you say Cleveland. I, 41 Cleveland too, yeah. 41 Cleveland. 17. They did though. 41 17. I know, four I know, four it's, interceptions. It's right in his wheelhouse. Well, four interceptions. You know why? Because they had Denzel Ward, who's an amazing corner, Greg Newsom, who's an amazing corner, a corner, and Greedy Williams. And I think the Rams are every bit as good, if not. Yeah, they, they probably have the best slot. And, in the league right and now. they got a better defensive line. I think that's why I think the Rams win. I think is like an underlying low key flying note. One thing that may hurt Cincinnati in this game is the fact that CJ Uzama is he's injured and he may not play. And I think they're really mm-hmm. going to need strong they, tight end play. They struggled against the Chiefs. They had nothing over that short. Yeah, I don't know that Drew Sample can get it done. I I think if Uzama plays, I I think. Believe I think he's going to be. I think he's going to be a difference maker in, in picking up some quality first downs. I right, so let's get some picks here. I'm, I'm going to take the Rams even with giving Cincinnati four and a half. Rams minus four and a half. You're taking. Yeah. So it's on you. Well, I'm saving my lock for last, I guess. Um, <laughs> since he plus four and a half is my pick, um, for a few reasons. One, I kind of want to root for the Bengals, and this gives me a chance to do it with the Rams probably winning this game, which I think will happen, and I think it'll be close. So. Yeah. So you, so you, all three are picking Cincy with the points. Yeah, yeah, all right, that's yeah. good. I'm I'll, not taking money line. Mark I'm going on an line. island. I'm not. And the mm-hmm. and the good thing is I've got some margin because I'm kicking your asses this year. Um, well, not mine. I'm, clo- I'm what, What's my percentage? Let me do the yeah. Math you know what? And we got to add. You know, you've made some mistakes. I feel yeah, like I don't. Add. I'm not trusting those totals. Oh, at no, all. I, I'm dead right. 
Yeah, just look uh, at his notebook. <laughs> It'll prove. Next year, we're bringing in a fifth party. <laughs> It'll prove yeah, it all. Yeah, it's fair. Independent. Independent. I'm 58%. Uh, yeah, 58%. I don't know what 42, but I'm 42 and 35 for the year. Phil's 40 and 37. Uh, Mark has finished 38 and 39, so pretty Allegedly. close. Allegedly. You're 55% Rocky. Wait, so here, hold 55%. on. 55%. Rocky, Rocky hold on. Hold on. I'm just trying to see. So what, I'm three games above your... You're 52%, um, Phil. Yeah, it's the same number. Okay. Yeah. So uh, anyways, but uh, I, I can I can take the risk here because even if I lose this game, I'll still be ahead of you by one. This is a 10-point yeah, game, Yeah, yeah, you've won. Yeah. Wow! Yeah, this is a ten point Woo! game, but you've got a better, as long as everything you got a better like, winning percentage. Percent. Yeah, I'm fifty eight percent. That's the best percentage. But I mean, my sample size is kind of small. I started in week twelve, so that's what you said. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> All right, so well, let's talk about some of those prop bets. Yeah, so this is kind of exciting. Ooh, fun! Um, Wish so, we could gamble here. That'd be yeah. nice. So the first one that we can decide is who will win the opening coin toss. Is it going to be heads or tails? Who will win, or what is it going to be? Who will win amongst us? I meant, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, like, who will win that that pick I'm going to call Tails. Tails never fails. Well, it does, but... I'll let you go. So, we all picking? Yeah. yeah okay, I'm going to call Heads, just to be different. Ah, Tails never fails. Sorry. You, look, you would call Heads. Your quality meets over there. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Which team will be leading at the end of the first quarter? Ooh, I like this. Cincinnati or the so Rams? I say the Rams. At the end of the first quarter? I will also take the Rams. I think Cincinnati comes out hot. If Cincinnati has a chance, if they have a chance to win this game, they're going to have to come out hot. I think Burrow's going to, like you said, Burrow's going to have to play impeccably. Yeah. And that first quarter is going to determine that. I want Cincinnati at the end of the first quarter. You know, Cincinnati came out cold. Mm-hmm. In both of the last two playoff games, though, right? That was my way to come back. Yeah. yeah, so I'm going to pick the Rams. I can already see the the like the announcers talking about like the slow start for the Rams and wow, the Bengals are really coming out in the Rams. Like I can see what Mark is saying about happening, but the stats don't lie. I feel so far. Number three, which team will score five points or more first? So this kind of goes with the last one, but mm. five points or more. First. So who gets like a touchdown or two field goals? I'll say the Rams. You know what's so crazy about this is, I mean, I could see, I see the Chase Rams or Coop, you know, catching a long touchdown. I think the Rams easy. go down the field first, the first drive, first drive. And I think Beckham, I think Beckham's going to be big in this game. So I think mean, they're going to. So you're calling, you're calling tails. Rams get the ball, drive down the field, yes. score a touchdown on the opening play. drive. All right. The thing I like about the Rams, and I think this is an underrated. Uh, you know, thing that's happened for them, it's kind of a good break, is Cam Akers. I mean, Cam yeah. Akers, has, yeah. it's, he's run well. I was yeah. nervous about him coming back so quickly, but he's run well, but even better, he's caught well out of the backfield. Well, that's why they brought him into the town yeah. anyway. Yeah. They needed the receiving back. So, uh, I would, I, you know, I'm going to say the Rams will score first. Yeah, I agree with it, too. Well, more than five. Uh, looks yeah. like I'm going the opposite again. I think since he's going to score a touchdown on the opening drive. And I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a dynamic play too. I think it's going to be some sort of breakdown on the Rams defense and I think it's going to be a decently long score. And that's the thing with both these teams. They got, got no receivers. over 40 yards. Uh close. I don't know. I was originally I was thinking 35 yard touchdown. Put your nuts on the table, man. I just yeah, <laughs> I'm calling I'm calling a dynamic <laughs> touchdown by the underdog. I said 40, after, you said 35. Whoa, okay. That's a long touchdown, man. Put it's your, a dynamic touchdown. Put your Newtons on the table. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say, quality meets. All right, welcome. Yeah. To the <laughs> you, know, I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fly y'all to New York. We're going to go to quality meets. All right, I'll go. Honestly, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm down. <laughs> yeah, when you get back from, it'll be when you're in Honolulu. Nah, though, fun, so. nah, dang it. <laughs> All right, so these are both are quarterback. The next two are quarterback ones. So will Matt you. Stafford have over or under two and a half passing touchdowns? I say under. So two, you would say, like, assumably. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will also say under. So two. Yeah, I, I think under as well here. I think that's a safer bet, yeah. Go, so we're all, we're all going under on that one? Yeah. yeah. Joe Burrow over or under 276 and a half passing yards. Will he have 277 okay. or 275, essentially? I mean, or this is a great less. prop bet. Yeah, honestly, if if I'm right about 
the defensive line of the Rams, it's going to be hard for him to get more than 276. Yeah. But all it takes is one long pass to Jamar Chase to kind of rattle that. I, I kind of like the over here, only because if they win the Super Bowl, it's through Joe Burrow, like Phil said. And with Mixon's lulls lately and one big gain for, to Chase, like uh, I'm taking the over. I'm going to go under. I'm going to take over because if they're behind, they're throwing. If Mixon can't run, they're throwing. There's going to be a lot of throwing. Yeah. I'm going over, too. Going I over. think there's going to be a lot of throwing going over. Why are you taking under? I don't know, man. I just don't think it's going to be a great day for Burrow. Mm. You know, and it can, I, I can see it going that way, too. I mean, th- that's why this game intrigues me. Because it can go a lot of, I mean, a lot of different ways. If you're going off of what they've done all season long, this could go so many different ways. It's really going to depend on the demeanor of that team. And I would like to say that the first couple of plays are really going to determine how Cincinnati fares. But that's not true because they have a propensity for coming back. They did it twice against Kansas City this year. I don't think you can rest against either of these teams. I think you have to play 60 minutes. That's the thing. I mean, they've both shown the propensity to come back against. I mean, the Rams came back against the Buccaneers. They should have lost. I'm sorry I'm laughing. You You guys are really close to each other. Why are you so (laughs) close to each other? Who, me and him? Yeah. Oh, I said there. that at the beginning of the I'm looking the at episode. the camera. <laughs> like, you guys are right next to each other. <laughs> well, my, this was here set up for me, so I just sat down. I'm the ass in the seat. Yeah. A lot of space over there, guys. <laughs> I don't know. It's maybe big, maybe I just want to be close to It's a big huh? room. It's a big room. I'm looking. Was, like, you can see the space between us. And look at them. Yeah. They're, like, shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Sowie. I don't think I could slide a Fig Newton between them. <laughs> Probably <laughs> somebody, not. Somebody said something about the, the double stuff. sucking. Somebody else said quality meats. And all of a sudden, our chairs came together a little bit. Hey, I'm just uh, yes, tell you what. Seat. I had uh, <laughs> What you have? At quality meats, they have... Uh, Corn dog. They have a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a It's a corn dish. But it's it's like a cream brulee corn, so it's got you never have cream brulee where it's got creme, that little no never skull. what is creme. it are you saying that yeah, correctly creme, creme, creme brulee like creme, creme brulee fresh. you know how it's got that crust yeah they said it cream brulee you no know it's got that crust on the top <laughs> you break it and yeah it's creme brulee but it's got corn so it's like a sweet and savory like dish. a chowder deal going yeah, on pretty cream good, of corn inside do you enjoy that with yeah. a nice glad of chardonnay <laughs> no no I don't drink wine. <laughs> After quality meats, you die. Me. <laughs> no, I'm drink wine. Yeah, after quality meats, it's more of like a cigarette after <laughs> for, for Rocky <laughs> on a glass of wine. Is uh, that all the prop bets? No, I, I, I can keep there's going. I've got a, a few. I've got a few exciting ones because there's like a billion. Also, oh, props to FanDuel. Thanks for the thanks for the prop bet. Take some of the best. Take some. Yeah. Of the best. Well, quarterback wins Super Bowl MVP. Ooh. I think it's gonna be a wide receiver. Really? Yeah. I think it's gonna be a wide receiver. And that would be. A, I will take the field. Yeah. Well, you know what? No. Yeah. Mm. What do you mean take the field? Well, it's not a quarterback. Not taking a quarterback, you're taking the field. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I'm taking the field too. Take really? Field. I think yeah. Because, so you know, everyone, you guys are all saying wide receiver. No, I'm, thinking, I'm rethinking that. Um, uh, well, it's almost always more. a quarterback. Well, they want to the give it to a quarterback. Yeah. Or you know what? Say, I'll say it'll be a quarterback. This is why I think it's the field. They're gonna really want to give it to OBJ. Really? No. You think so? No. I think your hate boner is showing a little bit. No, I, no. I think that they're going to want, if he has seven receptions, a couple touchdowns. I swear to God. To I think the, the story, whichever team wins, the story is going to be either Stafford yep. finally winning yeah. or Burrow winning Which, as such a young it's guy. It's a quarterbacks to lose. That's why I'm picking that. Mm-hmm. If OBJ gets the MVP, my life will be complete. That will be fantastic for me. But what if he has a great game? game? Huh? Oh, okay. No, no, I yeah. Wanna, yeah, I Is there a prop see, bet on uh, him breaking him his MVP leg? And Rocky no. have to. That's so rotten and disgusting of you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm rooting for it. There you go. So there you go. Make that At least clip. you're putting there hey, you go. Make that a clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> be careful what you wish for, I guess. All right. <laughs> All right. Total points, odd or even. This one's a fun one. Total points, odd or even. Ooh. Yeah, this see, one's this just like a gut guess. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't even think yeah. about it. Odd. Total, po- odd, total yeah, points. Odd. Total points. Total points. Odd. Yeah. odd. I'll, I'll, go, oh, I'll go even because you went odd. Yeah. That's all the reasoning I need. So you're looking I'm like going to go 20, odd. Like 28, 14, 24, 14. I don't know. I just think that's a little bit. Yeah, odd. even numbers. Yeah. But it's got to yeah. be total, though. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So. That's what I'm saying. That's well, what the scores would have to be. It would have to be two even numbers. Two even numbers. I'm going odd. Oh, damn it. Yeah. 
No, no, I'll, st- I'll stick to my guns. Uh, will both teams score in the third quarter? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, I should have not said that one. That was an easy one. Um, well, what's will, your answer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was too easy. Um, there's not any really good ones left. Um, will any player score two plus touchdowns? Quarterback passing touchdowns do not count. I will say yes. I'm actually going yes here too. I think uh, I want to go out on. I think Chase has a chance. I think Acres has a chance. Mm. I think Cup has a chance. I think Mixon has a chance. I think we're going to see two guys with two touchdowns each. Ah, boom. There it is. Rocco? Holy shit. I wonder if there's a prop bet online where you can put like $10 and you win like 600000 Yeah, I'm sure there, there probably is. is, but we can't because we don't live in a state that allows betting. Well, you can, Thanks, uh, Florida. You can always bet. You can always bet. Yeah, I don't feel like doing offshore accounts and winning <laughs> for Bitcoin and all when that. When there's, there's a will, there's a way. Well, we can go through one of Rocky's many offshore accounts to do it. Well, Rocky's got a sports book. That's where he really was. He wasn't in New York. He was somewhere. Checking on things. He was in Dubai. Or across the pond. <laughs> You know, making sure the guys are ready for the big week. I don't, I don't know that. I think any one player is going to get two. Two plus. Just, well, yeah. then just say no. There's just so much talent out there, mm-hmm. and I think you know. I mean, if you're there's the a Bengals, lot of quality men on the field. Yeah, this, if you're the Bengals and you're, you're not double that, teaming, the ground. <laughs> if you're not double teaming Cup, you're insane. Uh-huh. If you're the Rams and you're not double teaming <laughs> Chase, you're not Chase. double teaming Chase though. You're not? No. No. You're one, one, yeah. one, that's how they play. It. That's why they're so good. That's why Higgins had like 11 catches for like 200 well, yards. Well, no, I'm not saying I'm saying the Rams are not going to do that. They got a guy that they're going to stick on him. Well, but that's they're going to they, have Ramsey on him, but they're going to shadow him. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I just think that it's – I'm going to say no. Yeah. I agree with that too. Running backs to me, like – I'm thinking Cam Akers. That's what I was thinking that too. But yeah, I think if there is, it might be him. There's just not enough. Now it's going to ah, be a surprise. Fu- it's going to be like see. Higby. Higby's going to have yeah. like oh, three touchdowns. Watch yeah. It happen, yeah, or dude. the tight end. I, I, I'll be honest. I've I, not been impressed with Mixon this year. Really? Yeah. He well, like I mean, top, like, five he, was like a run, he was like yeah. RB3. I, yeah. I, I know what you're saying, but there's, a, there's finishing with the stats, and then I just haven't liked the way he's looked when he's run. It, it just, he's not, like, it's not a JTT where he looks phenomenal. All right, follow-up question. Is this because he plays in the AFC North? No. No? No, no but I've watched him quite a bit because he plays in the AFC North. And it's like he's got a lot of yards in garbage time. He, he's got a lot of yards off of receptions that you can't always count on. But just straight running ability, there's a lot of, to me, there's a lot of better running backs. I don't want to waste too much time, but like, could Mixon be a top five running back? I'm thinking of running backs that played the entire season or played enough to put him in the top five. Like, I kind of feel like Mixon could be in there. I think he he will be. Uh, to me, he's like six to ten. That's I mean, so he won't be. Yeah, yeah. To me, you, he wouldn't be in my. <laughs> he wouldn't be my top five, but I'm, I think he will be for like a I'm lot not, of you guys. I'm not impressed oh, okay. with him, but he's in the top twenty five percent of the NFL. <laughs> no high standards. I mean, Rocky. Because he could be 10, and that wouldn't be top 25. Right? No, but he could be 6, like you said, and that would be top. Yeah, uh, that's fair. But I don't think he's in, like, to me. Math. 17. <laughs> he's a lot closer math to hard. He's a lot closer to 10 okay. to me than he is to 6. So you meant to say, like, 9 to 10 rather than 6 <laughs> to 10. <laughs> no, because. Well, Beautiful so, mind trying to fight his way out of it. <laughs> so it just depends on who's drafted first. Like, if I'm at 6 and. It's been a run on running backs. Yeah. I might be forced to take Mixon at six. Okay. If yeah. a couple receivers have been taken and there's a guy, you know, so it just depends is what I'm saying. But I, I'm just not impressed with him. Honestly, I'm just not impressed with him. Yeah, I haven't yeah. watched him that much this yeah. year. So, yeah. Okay, one that wasn't on here, but I want to ask it because it's a, it's a super fun one. Um, for the national anthem, are we thinking over under a minute and 40? Who's singing the national anthem? Uh, one second, speak so I can Google. Yeah. Yeah, so I it mean, depends. It, it like, does depend for sure. They can belabor it. Is it like operatic singer? Is it you know? Yeah. yeah. Somebody, somebody, somebody always California. puts their flair on. Oh, I okay. It's it's Mickey Guyton, and the the reason I saw a TikTok about this today. I, who who that? Mickey Guyton. Who's that? Who that? 
Oh, I don't know who it is, but all I know from Nicky Guy. I'm about to say it because my brain clicked for a second. I don't know who it is, but I saw a TikTok and apparently they call her Quickie Mickey because every time she sings a national anthem, it's quick as hell. Oh, cool. so you think she's gonna stick it to everybody and sing a fucking long national mm-hmm. anthem? The last eleven, I think. I hope I'm right on this. The last eleven national anthems have been under a minute forty. Mm-hmm. Uh, some going under. So you're just gonna think it's twelve and zero. That's, yeah, well, yeah. She's well, I mean, quickie, quickie Mickey. Mickey. Yeah, yeah, but I'm it, going over. I tell you what, I'm this not, is like you think she's gonna break the mold intentionally. Listen, yeah, this is no. your this she's is gonna, your chance. She's gonna this hit that it. note. This is your chance. That's a good point, but I don't know if Thank I don't you. you know I don't think Quickie Mickey's that type of girl. Yeah, is it I a girl? Mean, is it a girl? I'm guessing. Have? Yes, going out on a limb. Mickey there. could be a guy's name too. Everything that I've read about her, he she, you don't know. Everything that I've hey, read about really what's the they? name again? Mickey Guyton. Mickey they? Guyton. Everything Mickey, that I've Mickey, read about who is it? Everything Mickey, that I've Mickey heard Guyton. about Mickey Guyton just tells me <laughs> she, she's not that type of gal. She is an American musical artist. Okay. That's, you know what? Thank you for that. So uh, she looks like she might take her time. I'm gonna she probably go over. finesses it. Yeah, I'm gonna change. I'm going over. <laughs> no, no, you know what? I'm going under. You guys are all saying well, the going under. Is like, I'm going under. The the under is like what you have to take because I want to see a picture of her. Is that, of is course, it, you're a creep. No, 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 no. Because that bears. <laughs> no, I'm not looking for how good looking she is. They're do you want me to like full of shit now? Now you're lying no, to our not, audience. Turn my camera around. How her, can we? How can we have a reputation? It's not the most important thing. Online. Her appearance could sway. I don't. Do you want me to turn my laptop think, around? You yeah. Google it. You have a laptop. I don't yeah, want. But if I Google, it's going to go on the screen. Uh, don't that let could him be see. that could be creepy. You can. We'll figure out that. Her lips don't scream quickie. I think she's taking her time. All right. Well, uh, you know little. what, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Mark's uh, opinions do not reflect this podcast or his <laughs> employer. Yeah, Mark. Mark is. Uh, he's. I mean, I'll take the under. By the way, canceled. I'm going under. <laughs> under. You're going. Do you say over or under? Yeah, I was talking under. all that shit just to take under. Yeah. Yeah. You're going under. But now I'm going to go over. Uh yeah, I'm I'm going over 100. percent Let me see. <laughs> Thanks guys for listening. <laughs> going over 100. percent No, under. Oh wow, Rocky, here you go. Yeah, let's. I'm going over. 100%. Hey, thanks guys. Hey, hope you have a great Super Bowl Sunday. Thanks for checking us out. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We're on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. I'm gonna put those uh, ads right here on the screen. And uh, thanks. Come back next week. Check us out. We're everywhere. Come get us.